I want to react to something. Come on, give me something. Um, react to this. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's this is Corbin. This is Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. Instagram. Thank you for on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Ring the bell to be notifications. Squad. Bang. And follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Uh, yeah, or we'll links. stab you in the nipples. That's true. Links always in the description below. Uh, today we are reacting to a new trailer that dropped, I believe, a day ago. It's on Did that. Did you just call me a dago? Yes. It dropped a day ago, and uh, it's on that Z5 app. Uh, huh? And I believe it was made by the AIB people. It's not presented by AIB, but I believe it was made by those people. Uh, okay. And it's called Chintuka Birthday. Okay. In a war-torn uh, Iraq... An Indian family awaiting their turn to return to India decides to celebrate the youngest son's birthday. Amidst all the chaos and danger, the family struggles to celebrate and make the day memorable for him. Cool. Okay. Uh, Interesting. So it's a it's an it's a it's a family that's stuck in Iraq trying to get back to India. Yeah. Okay. That's epic. Uh, Iraq not always fun. Uh, <laughs> That's not a great slogan for the tourism industry there. All right, ready? Three, yes. two, <laughs> one. Kitna na hange chintu ke papa? Kitna na hange papa? Aap chule nahi kar sakte na? Bolo siya bar Ram Chandra ki. Adorable kid. Adorable yeah. little boy. Chali 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 chintu babu ka birthday hai aaj. Happy birthday to you. Bas bichdi nahi jaani chahiye. अरे नहीं जाएगा बिजली निश्चिंत रहिए थोड़ा मुस्कुराइए पापा एक महीना से बोल रहे हैं कि इस बार जबरदस्त बर्थडे बनेगा so कितना दोस्त आएगा सामने really 25 अरे हम तो 50 का बोले थे पिछले साल का भी हिसाब बराबर कर लेते चिंटू अब याद आए है नानी का पैर छूना है पापा याद दिलाए नानी कोयली के बचुआ they're gonna break our heart. Knew that. Knew something was coming. Yeah, I knew oh it. God. They're gonna break our heart. It took you so long, buddy. Oh, God. I will check the room. I can't explain. Okay, oh, down! Is he part of your family? See, there is a mistake. Say set. one more word, and I'll blow your goddamn head off. We come for Chin to birthday party. Best friend, girlfriend. She go to school. You destroyed this morning. Oh, God. Welcome to Bump Guy Rat. My name is Madan Tiwari, sir. We are Indian. There's your whole family working for these insurgents. Oh, nice. Happy birthday, Chintu. My Chintu is crying on his happy birthday. It is wrong. Papa is going to get जो बिगड़ना है बिगड़ जाए चिंटू का बर्थडे तो हम लोग मना करें दैट लुक्स गुड आई वांट टू सी दैट दैट लुक्स गुड या लुक्स लुक्स पावरफुल इट्स आल्सो इंटरेस्टिंग जस्ट फ्रॉम एन अमेरिकन पर्सपेक्टिव टू सी अ फिल्म वेयर द अमेरिकन इज द बैड गाय uh <laughs> It's obviously, you know, usually from your own stories that you tell, you usually, right. especially the military, you don't make them the bad guys. Uh, Correct. Just because you, it's just not something. And you know, there's people that are that are awful people. Obviously, there's awful people everywhere. 
in the military and everything, but it's just not, it's just not something you normally see outside of that's the villain in the military and the rest of this military is good, you know? Um, you know, like the generals is, is the bad guy. That's basically what you'd see, but not this guy is racially profiling these people and, and interrogating these people, even though they're Indian. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so or that's maybe, very or maybe interesting to me. He may have gotten bad intel. Yeah. Um, we may find out that they didn't get bad intel. We yep. may find out something about Chintu's dad that we didn't know about. You know what I mean? Yep. But yeah, I'm I'm very interested to see this because that's one thing we have yet to see that deeply intrigues me is mm-hmm. is something that comes out of India that depicts the American military. Yeah. I really would like to see that. Um, that's one of my favorite things. I've re- referenced them before of Clint Eastwood's films that he did back to back, which were the yeah. t- Flags of Our Fathers and, and Iwo Jima. If you guys aren't familiar with that, Eastwood told a story of a critical battle in World War II, and he told it from the American standpoint of the battle, and then he made a completely separate film and told it about the Japanese standpoint. And it's a really beautiful depiction of both sides of the picture and the the insanity of war. Um, So this is, I'm very interested. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Uh, The one, the kid looks adorable. All the acting looks really good. I, I am nervous about those Americans. That always just makes yeah. it always just makes me nervous. Uh, I know, uh, me too. Uh, uh, what we're referring to everybody, if you didn't know, is we don't see good actors who are white in Indian films, and the fact that these guys play a significant role is going to piss us off if they're not good actors. Yeah, uh, let's see. It's it's one of the the black uh, military man. His name is Reginald L. Barnes. Uh, okay, he was in Blue Bloods. Uh, Okay. It's not too much outside of that, so obviously it's a, a small. And then Nate, Nate Skulls, who was in NCIS, Criminal Minds, and Grimm. So he's been in quite a few. He has quite. That's a, that's encouraging. He has quite a quite a quite a repertoire, which is great that they're actually getting actors that are from America that are that Good. have. I mean, he's not like a huge guy, obviously, uh, but he's been in a bunch of stuff. So uh, that that's encouraging. But I do feel like the dad we've seen before. Have we seen him? I did too. I was feeling the same way. My name is Khan. He was in My Name is Khan. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. where. <laughs> yeah, he was in My Name is Khan, and I feel like there's more though. Maybe it was just trailers that we've seen him in. Um, uh, do do do. Just checking his IMDb here. But he looked familiar. But he so, looks really, he looks really, really good. The entire thing looks really good. I love because, like I said, you don't see that perspective here. If there's an Indian family and the people that are the antagonists and the bad guys almost in this are the Americans, which is I'm sure actually how like if you have any films in in other countries that depict American soldiers, I'm sure it's not a good look because obviously, you know, we see the best sides of us. We oftentimes choose to ignore the bad sides. Correct. It's something that I enjoy uh, seeing because you don't want to be blinded by uh, yeah you know you want to know what people think about you and the the realities of what's actually happening not just what your news is telling you yeah and stupid babies if um, what I was thinking about as you were talking Corbin was um, correct me if I'm wrong I don't think it was the first but I know one of the first films to depict American military in a not attractive light was Oliver Stone's Platoon. Mm-hmm. Oh, Johnny Depp's uh, first big role. Right, which <laughs> it, it was just a whole lot of big names in that thing, but it, it not only depicted some people who do things that, that aren't the right thing to do as soldiers, because there are some of those, but it, it also talks openly, as did many films afterwards, about the atrocity that was the Vietnam War. And it's just, it's a good film. If you guys haven't seen Platoon, it's a really good American film that shows you pretty raw reality about good and bad soldiers and bad things that America ha- have have done. I feel like that's the war that we've seen the worst, like in terms of film, because it was it was basically an illegal war that we decided to start. Uh, and so that's why I feel like there, you've seen a lot of bad light of Americans about that one is because it was. So oh, yeah. Aw- it's so awful. <laughs> yeah. But there, if you want to. I don't know why they haven't made a film. Christopher Nolan, if you're watching, <laughs> um, 
they should make a film. I just watched a segment of a World War II documentary that's on Netflix. It's an in-color documentary, and it's a segment on the Battle of Dresden in Germany. Mm. And I didn't know much about that battle. You want to talk about gross? Mm. Um, what the Allies did there uh, with under Winston Churchill and Franklin Delano Roosevelt in killing 25,000 innocent people in Dresden and bombing it because it was a civilian target? Woof. Um, and I asked my friend Rich, I said, why haven't they made a movie about this? He said, it's too brutal. And it also doesn't portray America and Great Britain in the or, most beautiful light. Or Churchill, which, as you guys know, or Churchill. we are only you. Obviously, you guys know Churchill in one light. And that's I've seen people call him their Hitler, basically. Uh, yeah. And so that's that's a pretty high mark from coming from an American's perspective. <laughs> he's the greatest Britain of all time. That's how he's yeah. taught to us is he is the greatest Britain of all time. And so, yeah, obviously what you see in your films in, in, in India and in, in every, all over the world is what you want to see. <laughs> yes, it's the old adage and it's sad but true that history is told by the victors. Yep. It's, a, it's yeah. a sad fact. But this looks really good. Yep. Uh, so yep. uh, let us know anything that we need to know about this down below. And thank you.